So here's me back in 2017, starting a new dropshipping store for the very first time. And I remember how confused I felt and I literally had zero clue where to start. And I remember focusing on all of the wrong details such as my fonts and colors and just making a bunch of things look as perfect as possible when in reality, none of those details matter. Then after three weeks of burning myself out, I did manage to make a store that I was pretty proud of. And of course, I was super excited to launch my very first Facebook ads campaign and watch the money print from there. And sure enough, all of my blood, sweat and tears that I put into my perfect store was literally for nothing. I burnt my life savings on Facebook ads and I pretty much wanted to cry myself to sleep from there. So if this situation sounds familiar to you, believe me, I understand the pain because I went through this exact cycle over and over again and more times than I can count. And with every single store that failed, it just became harder and harder for me to pick myself back up and start again. But don't worry, your experience with dropshipping doesn't have to be like me right here because in this video, I'm gonna show you an AI tool that's going to help us build build high converting Shopify stores with all of the copywriting and all of the sections and images pre-done with AI in as little as just a few minutes. And now that you have your store, you're gonna be ready to use this tool, which is called Drop Magic. I'll also have a link in the description below so that you can be taken to this page. And this tool is basically an AI store builder unlike anything I've ever seen before, because let's be honest, most AI store builders today are pretty terrible and they do not deliver what they promise. But this one right here, I promise you it is super different and you're literally going to get the most high converting store in literally less than five minutes. They say five minutes right here, but you're gonna see how quick this thing is. So from this page, we're gonna go up here and then click on get started. And all we need to do is paste in a link for our product. So this can come from pretty much anywhere, whether it's AliExpress, Amazon, or even the store URL of your competitor's website. But in this case, I'm gonna take this AliExpress page for this portable blender right here. And then from here, we're gonna click submit. And then what it's gonna do is analyze the URL so that it could scan all the images for that product. And then it's also gonna determine a product score, which kind of just goes based on how much we could potentially sell the product for, how many marketing angles that product can have and things like that. And then once it's ready to go, we're gonna click on let's build your store. And then from here, it's gonna bring this pop-up where we just need to simply sign up for a free account. So just go ahead and enter in your email and then click on submit. And then we're gonna be taken to this next page where we can select the language that we want for our store. In this case, I'm gonna select English. And then it's gonna give us four different marketing angles that we can take for our landing page. So feel free to choose the angle that you want. In this case, I'm just gonna target the most generic persona. And then from here, we just need to choose our hook angle. This way our page can be more laser targeted towards the people that we want to speak to with our landing page. So again, I'm gonna keep things broad and we're just gonna talk about the angle of fresh blends made super easy. And then from here, what it's gonna do is pull all the images directly from the AliExpress link. So feel free to choose all the ones that you wanna bring over and deselect the ones that you don't want. And don't worry about spending too much time on this part and trying to deselect all of these duplicate images. These are really just gonna be used as a foundation to pre-fill some of our sections, which you're going to see. And in a later part of this video, I'm gonna show you how we can update and replace these images with much better ones using my GPT. So once everything is set to go, we're gonna click on go to my store. And then from here, you're gonna see that it's gonna be generating. And what it's doing in the back end is literally generating all the copywriting based on all the angles that we chose during the onboarding process. So this is pretty much how our store looks like so far. All of the copywriting is already pre-done for us. We have our product title, we have the description. It already pulled some of the best images from our AliExpress link, but it also uses AI to find us other images from other AliExpress links as well. You can see that it already has all of these FAQ questions done for us. It has some of these guarantees right here. We have this nice scrolling banner. We even have this nice section right here that explains some benefits and features of the product. We already have all of these reviews that are pre-imported, so we don't have to do anything on that part. So you can see that this store looks pretty much 90% done. And if we really wanted to quickly launch this product, we literally could with this type of product page. But of course, if you wanna have a higher chance of success, you do need to make some more effort to kind of update some images and maybe add in some more sections to your store just based on how you want to be building more perceived value for your product. So now let me show you some of the features of Drop Magic and what you can do as far as customizing everything. So first things first, if you don't really like the color that it initially generated for you, if you go on the left hand side, you actually have a ton of different templates that you can choose from. So we got like this blue template right here, which is going to change out the fonts and kind of have like this harder blue color. We have like this red template right here. We got green, we got purple, and of course the list goes on. These are just pre-made templates that you can easily choose from and if you like it, you can just stick with it. Well, let's just say I like this blue template right here. The next thing that we can adjust is our color palettes. So you can choose everything that you want manually. Otherwise, you can kind of use this roll the dice feature and it's just gonna give you a ton of different options and it's really great for those who kind of have zero clue what colors that they want for the store. So after rolling it a few times, I'm just gonna stick with this one right here. And the next thing that we can adjust is our fonts. So normally what I like for most of my stores is the pop-ins font. So we can do this for both the headings and the content text for our entire store, which kind of just 
just looks like this. And then if we click on element styles, we have the ability to choose how our buttons are going to look like. So we can choose brick and it's gonna look like this. If we choose this one, it's gonna have like this nice gradient. Or we could just choose classic if we don't want anything crazy with our buttons. And then we can also choose how we want our images to look like. So if we choose brick, it's gonna look like this. If we choose Polaroid, it's gonna look like that. And if we wanna keep things simple, then we could just use none. Next thing that we can adjust is our icons. So these are basically the things that are going to pop up around here. You're also gonna notice some of these other icons appear from the scrolling banner and then also in sections like this. If we want emoji style icons, then it's gonna look more like this, which is something that I personally prefer. So we're just gonna go with this one. So that's pretty much everything that we can adjust super easily from the left-hand side. But now let me show you a few more features on how Drop Magic makes the entire store building process so much easier. So as you can see, we currently have three FAQ questions that's below our add to card button. And if we wanna add more questions, it's super easy. All we have to do is click on add a block, select the FAQ question, and you can see that it's now generating this new question with AI. And in just a few seconds, we now have a new question and also an answer for that question. And let's say, for example, we don't like this question, then we can simply click on the rewrite button and then click on submit. And if we give it a few seconds, we now have a brand new question. And then we can just select on the answer, click on rewrite, and then we can just type something like write an answer to the question and then click on submit. And if we give a few seconds, once again, we now have some brand new copywriting that matches the new question that we just generated. And you can continue doing this as many times as you like. So if I want another FAQ question, all I have to do is select it. And now I have another question that was just generated in literally like three seconds. And then all I have to do is just drag over all of these blocks. So everything is in one clean line. And now we have a total of five FAQ questions just like that. And if we click on add a block again, you can see all of the different choices that we have. For example, let's select this review one and see what happens. And you can see that it just generated a quick testimonial, which is pretty good for social proof. And if you want, we can click on the image and we actually have a ton of more realistic images that we can choose from. So for example, I could just choose this and you can see that it actually looks pretty legit. So everything I just showed you here can also be applied to your entire product page. So you can see all of these pre-made sections that we have, but we can add as many sections as we want and everything will be generated automatically with the AI that's directly built into this software. So if we wanna add a new section, we can either click right here or go on the left-hand side and add a section this way. And you could take a look at all the different templates that they have to offer. And let's say I wanna go with this section right here. Once I select it, you're gonna see that it's now generating some copywriting in the background. And after a few seconds, you can see that this section is already pre-written and we didn't have to do anything. And now let me show you a few things that we could do to customize this further. So when we select the section on the right-hand side, we have a few options that we can choose from. The first one is the magic brush. And each time we press it, it's gonna be kind of like that roll the dice feature where it's gonna choose some color tones for us based on the color palette that we chose earlier. So feel free to keep pressing this until you have like a color tone that you want. In this case, I'm gonna stick with this kind of like lighter blue background as I think it looks pretty good. And you can also see that we have the option to rewrite the entire section. So this is a little bit different than selecting everything one by one, because for example, if we wanna select just the headline, then we can also rewrite only the headline. However, if we use the rewrite feature from the right-hand side, we can actually rewrite the entire section all at once. So what you can do is just select all of these different presets, whether you want to make things shorter, you wanna make it more emotional, or if you wanna dedicate this section purely for social proof. But well, let's say I want to make this about one of my features. So I can say rewrite this section and talk about its charging capabilities. Then click enter and let's see what it's going to do for us. So now you can see that all the copywriting just updated specifically talking about its charging functions. And then what we can do is just change out this image so that it actually matches the copywriting. So we can click on choose media and we already have a lot of images that we can choose from because Drop Magic actually sources everything from different websites and different AliExpress links and puts it all in here for you. So I can go ahead and choose this one because this image actually makes sense with the copywriting as it's showing that this person is placing it on the wireless charging pad. And there you go, this section is pretty much complete. And if you wanna be able to move this section in an area where it makes sense, then you just select the section, go on the right-hand side and then click on move up. And then just continue to click it until you have this section in an area on your product page that you feel like looks good. And just another quick thing to show you guys. So as you can see, we have this review section right here. And this section pretty much works the same way. If we click on this plus icon, it's gonna also generate more and more reviews for us. So you can feel free to keep on pressing this so that you can keep generating more and more reviews. And if we click on the images for these reviews, we can actually update it to whatever we want. So again, we have a full library of review images that we can choose from. Otherwise, you could just upload your own if you want. So these are basically all the core 
features you need to know in order to build out an entire product page using Drop Magic. And once you finish with your changes, just make sure that you click on publish on the top right hand side, otherwise you might lose all of your progress. And once you're finished with your product page, you could go on the top left hand side and then click on home page because in case you didn't know, Drop Magic also builds out your entire home page automatically so you don't have to. And the way that you would build out your home page is the exact way that I showed you how to do with your product page. You can add as many sections as you want and everything will be done automatically using its AI capabilities. So here's just a quick preview of the home page that I've made for this concept store. So you can see it looks pretty good. We got tons of social proof images and really clean sections. But let me also show you the product page as this is what actually matters when you start running traffic to your store. So on the left hand side, we have all of our product images as you can see here. So all these images were generated with AI and in just a few moments, I'm gonna show you how you can create all of these type of images that you're seeing right now. And then on the right hand side, we have our bundles widget. I'm using an app called Kaching Bundles. I'll leave a link down below in case you wanna use it. But as we scroll down further, we have all of our FAQ questions. And as we go down even further, we also have a dedicated section showcasing all of our social proof. And then below this, we have like a summarized section explaining all of the features and benefits of our product. And then we also have another section explaining the step-by-step -step process on how it actually works. And then we have more sections explaining some features and benefits. And then we have this one comparing our product with another alternative. And then we also have our customer reviews and we have our FAQ sections and then more guarantees for our store. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it and found it valuable. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel as I'm gonna continue showing you guys more AI tools that I've been using to help with building out my dropshipping stores. And with all that being said, I thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.